Let's go over how to customize this landing page in Flowdesk and send out your lead magnet to anyone who enters their email into this landing page. This landing page is a template in Coffee and Contracts. So first I'm going to open up that template and just click open link and hit start designing now. Now we're gonna to need to replace this image uh, with a different mock-up. So what we're gonna do is go back to Coffee and Contracts and open up our mock-up templates and use this template as a new design. I'm gonna replace it with the Coffee and Contracts buyer guide. So I'm gonna go over to my lead magnet and once you're done customizing your lead magnet and you have it all ready, what you're going to do is download just the first page. So I'm going to delete those. I'm going to download just this first page as a PNG, which is just an image. And then I'm going to download the guide as a PDF. You can do actually PDF standard would be better and download the guide. Now I'm going to grab that image that I just downloaded and upload it into this mockup. So all I have to do is drag and drop it over here. And my mockup's ready to go. I can also use this option. I'm going to use this option to switch it up. So I'm just going to download page two as a PNG. Now I'm going to go back over here and click on this image, exit out, click upload, and replace that image with my new mockup. Then I'm going to change the copy here, and I'll use the recommendations here to promote my buyer guide. The next step is to go over to settings and I'm going to create a new segment for my um, for this landing page. Now it looks like Flowdesk already created me one so I could just use this one and just rename it in the workflows or I can create a new one and go from there. But I'll just use the one that Flowdesk has created for me and I'll show you how to rename it. So to get to segments, I'm going to go to audience and then toggle over to segments. And here is the new segment that it created for me. So I'm gonna click on the three dots there and change it to buyer guide lead magnet. Oh, I already have one, so I'm going to put a two. So now I just went ahead and changed the name there. And then the next step is to go to workflows. So what we're gonna do here is create up a workflow so that once someone subscribes to that page, they will receive an email with the freebie. So I'm gonna click new workflow and I'm just gonna start from scratch. Name it buyer guide delivery. Then I'm gonna click add trigger and I'm gonna leave it as it is. A subscriber is added to segment and then the segment that I just created. So once someone subscribes to that page and is added to that segment, then I'm gonna click the plus sign there and select email, and I'm gonna create a new email. Now I'm just going to start from scratch here and I'm gonna name the email buyer guide delivery and hit save. Now I'm gonna add in the copy here which I have some copy ready to go. And I'm just gonna reformat this, take off the italics. And where it says first name, I'm going to change this and put at, and then I'm gonna add first name so that Flowdesk will pull their first name 
but if there is no first name then I'm just gonna put friend and I'll put the comma after that so that it's not just after friend so now I'm gonna customize this a little bit This is where you'll break down the sections of the buyer guide. I'm just going to leave that for now. Now I'm going to add a little signature here. So I'm just going to click the plus and I'm going to add layouts and I'm going to search for just the plain text, add some beautiful text with a custom font, and then I'm going to select a cursive font. I like the California one, so I'm going to add my name and then increase the size. I'm going to delete this button, remove some of the spacers. Now we need to insert a Google Drive link. So all you have to do is go over to Google Drive, which is free if you have a Google account, and you're going to upload your guide as a PDF into Google Drive. Then once it's done, you're just going to click on it, hit share, change the access to anyone with the link can view. Copy that, go over here, and add the link there, so then you don't have to worry about file sizes or anything. You could also add it as a button if you'd like, just by clicking plus and clicking button. And then going over to link and pasting your link there as well. Then once you're done, hit finish. We're going to change the subject line. You can add emojis. And a preview text. And hit publish. Now your workflow is set up, you're ready to go. So what you can do is go back to forms, copy this form link, and now you can share this with people and start promoting your lead magnet.